Brother Simon's 23rd article. Out of him and through him and for him. When atheists imag imagine the Christian God, they see in their minds, I, an angry and Capricious old man, much like Joe fucking Biden, who has a real hard on for punishing human beings, for being human, and has dreamt up the sick and twisted plan of infinite torture for finite sin. No wonder atheists don't believe in God. Who would want to believe in such a wicked... Caricature of the real God thing is, they never heard about the real God. Doubtless, Christians probably imagine something very similar as they tremble with apprehension, fearing a single bad thought, nice tits, is going to send their God into a rage and send them straight to hell. I mean, seriously, am, and am I being goddamn serious here? How the hell does a Christian reconcile a loving God with the God who also tortures the majority of his creation for not believing in him? Why would a wise and loving God create flawed beings, then give them the free will to sort out their lives and do everything right to get saved, knowing full well most of them would fail miserably? Give me a break, you and Miss, Mr. and Mrs. Born Again. Don't know the real God? First off, as Paul the Apostle of the Nations tells us in Colossians 1.15, Christ is the image of the invisible God. Get that? Invisible you can't see God, he is spirit, which is one reason he created his son, so us mere mortals would be able to appreciate who God is through his perfect image, Jesus Christ, who gave up his life to save to save sinners. First Timothy one fifteen that was the ultimate act of love, and as Jesus explained in John fourteen nine, he who has seen me has seen the Father, you foul like father like son. They, however, are not the same being, and I thoroughly re rebuked, rebu rebuked that doctrine of demons here. Jesus Christ is the perfect image of God. According to the fine folks at Merriam-Webster, an image is a visual representation of something. In this case, Jesus is a visual representation of Representation of the invisible God to claim otherwise is to twist what the word image means and what scripture says. So who is the real God? In Romans 11, 33, 36, one of the grandest, most sweeping statements in all scripture, Paul tells us, Oh, the deep of the riches and the wisdom and knowledge of God and how inscrutable are his judgments and untraceable his ways. For who knew the mind of the Lord, or who became his advisor, or who gives to him first, and will it be repaid to him, seeing that out of him, and through him, and for him is all to him, be the glory for the eons? God requires absolutely nothing from you, or anyone else for that matter, whether terrestrial or celestial. No one advises him. No one has given him anything he didn't already have. Life, the universe, and everything sprang from God. They did not come from nothing. How ludicrous. I'll give atheists credit for not believing in the batshit crazy God of Christianity, yet they fail miserably believing that life, the universe, and everything came from nothing. Seriously, I thought you guys were smart. We're so smart. Guess you are only s smart, smart. Everything is out of God, including good and evil. Isaiah 45, 7, he is the source of all. Everything is through him, and he is the channel of all. Everything is for him. He is the object of all. This is the real God who wills that all mankind be saved and come into the realization of the truth. 1 Timothy 2, 4. And what God wills, God gets. 